Looks like we've got some more bells to pick up. What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day, and welcome back to Peterville. It's been a little few, few minutes, few days, nothing too crazy since we've been over here, and we've got some more cotton to pick up. Yeah, we're not done yet. Uh, unfortunately, there's still mm, yeah, I'm having some issues with the Peterville factory. However, I've got a new place that we're gonna put these guys. So let's see. Is that is that all? I swore I saw three not long ago. How's about this? Why don't we bump over to this guy right here? And oh, oh he's actually almost uh, almost done. As a matter of fact, yeah, look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Let me know if you guys have been using this or not since it released. Hasn't been out that long. If you guys are watching this day of, hasn't been out that long. Less than a week, actually, less than a couple days. All right, so we've got a little bit that we're missing. Not crazy excited about all that. Let's see what we could do about dropping down, turning it on, and getting just some of this got up. A lot of this can be... Oh, I'm going to have to turn around and come all the way back, aren't I? Maybe we finish what we were doing first. Yeah, let's do that instead. <laughs> so this is going to be the last video that you guys see, at least of me recording-wise, uh, on the old computer. We've got the new PC set up, ready to go. And we're going to be rocking with that one, starting with the videos on Monday. The Let's Play on Monday has still been recorded with this, because I recorded that a couple days ago. Uh, and most of you know that I am moving right now. Yes, we are moving. Oh, my, oh, my. I'm recording this on Sunday, and we are just going crazy over here. I think I've got 11 or 12 boxes left here that are just sitting around, just like, hey, DJ, just just put some put some stuff in here. Be done with it. you got to be out in the morning. Literally, I'm, I'm recording this at 10.08 a.m. If you guys are curious, hey, why not? We'll chit-chat for a little minute. It's 10.08 in the morning right now for me. You guys are probably watching this about three or four hours from now. And ooh, don't, don't destroy that. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Oh, there it is. All right, it's ready to go. Let's go ahead and come through here. Should have another one pop out the back, too. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's so cool. But I got to be out of here in 24 hours. Legit. 24 hours from now, I have to be out of here. So with all that, I, I've got all the packing to do. Plus, I have to make all the videos. I did talk to the people from the Airbnb, which is basically like, hey, can I come stay at your house for a couple days? And I will give you money. <laughs> That's basically what Airbnb is in a nutshell. All right, let's get this packed away. Um, with that... I talked to them and they're letting me move in a little bit early tomorrow, which is nice because I got to be out of here at 10. I was just going to go like get a long lunch, maybe go bowling. You guys know I love to go bowling. So I was going to do that, but instead they were like, nah, just come on over here. So that's good. That means I can get over there, get set up, get the computers out and uh, be done with it. Because right now I'm currently rocking a two PC setup with the iMac. Uh, which I use for recording the two PC setup right now. I'm basically mirroring everything that I'm doing on the primary PC. Also with the uh, the backup, well, I say the backup, the brand new one, which is done by the way. It's completely finished. Uh, rocking a uh, Ryzen Ryzen nine nine gen Ryzen two second something. It's a 3900X. It's the new one. <laughs> I don't know. It's a Ryzen 9 3900X. Uh, that's the big 12 core, 24 thread. It's insane. I'm also rocking one of the new GT GTX RTX. God, there's so much going on. I'm sorry. <laughs> rocking it again. Brand new RTX 2070 Super graphics card. It's Founders Edition as well, so it's not a not an EVGA. I've got an EVGA 1070. That's what you guys are watching right now. Uh, that works really well as well. I highly recommend it. Uh, it's the SC Black Edition. Really cool. It looks good. It does a good job. Uh, I cannot recommend the EVGA stuff enough. Uh, however, this is what we got right now. And I'm actually looking at building a third PC. That's right. I just built one. I'm gonna. I'm looking at building a new one. But this one's gonna be way different from anything that I've ever done before. Uh, I'm looking at doing an APU and having a computer for the living room. Just just something to you know watch Netflix or something like that on. I've got a smart TV, but hey, if it can be better, I want it to be better. There we go. So we've got six bells packed up right now. Let's go ahead and get this folded up. 
So those should sell pretty decently. I'm sitting waiting. Let's see, where's our cotton at? There it is. I'm waiting on a good price at bail sales right now. I don't know if that's a low price. That seems like a low price. So we're just kind of waiting on that to oh, go up a little bit. Also, let's see. Let's bump around because there's one thing, uh, maybe a pass or two. This guy right here. So it finished up. There are some spots that he's missed, though. Let's take a look at these spots. Where are we at? Here we are. So you can see itty bitty little spots all around. I'm not saying it's unacceptable, but goodness gracious. Think you could like not miss a bunch of spots like that. This, this field right here, it's really tough to get everything done on here anyway, because it's so hilly. Uh, the workers miss things here and there. There we go, get that, turn that off, boom. So now I just gotta go around, hit all this. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Game plan. Let's talk about the game plan for this map because there is a big game plan going on. We are going to be doing a massive grass harvest through every single field, every single field that we own, a huge grass harvest to kind of, I wouldn't say in the series because as soon as stuff for seasons is released with this map, we're going to be jumping back on it. I really like Peterville. People have been asking me and I've talked to some of the moderators and they say, help our eyes completed their task. They better not have. Uh, come on, you got more work to do, buddy. You missed a bunch. Oh, you missed a bunch over here, too. What are you doing? I talked to moderators. They're like, DJ, it's got small roads and stuff. You hate small roads. I'm like, yeah, but I love Peterville. Leave me alone. <laughs> Looking at you. You know who you are, which is awesome. Another cool thing, Peter, uh, not Peterville, MJ Modding is working on Grower's Farm. Um, I think we're going to be seeing some testing of that soon, so I'm excited about that. Uh, he's also working. He's got another work in progress. MJ is just killing it right now. So huge shout out to you, MJ. Love you, brother. So how's about this? Let's get a couple of these little itty bitty spots cleaned up. Let's set this on a worker and get this field finished up. You know, I've talked a little bit of smack about the fence, but at the end of the day, I still think this is the better buy over the challenger, the big challenger. So we're just gonna go ahead and return that. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's jump in here. Let's get this done. We've got what this field, and then the field with the cotton in it. Ooh, we should probably check and see what needs to be done with what. All right, that field's good. This field needs to be done up. Needs plowing. Needs lime. Oh boy. Here we go. Nice and good. Nice and good. We're all ready. Yeah, everything's just fine. Just fine indeed. You know what's funny? <laughs> Doing this right now and going, what, 31, 32 miles an hour? I think this thing will go like 40 miles an hour. It's hilarious going between seasons and this because I'm like, this is so unrealistic. How did I get used to this kind of farming for so long? I'm not saying I want to go back. Don't don't get me wrong. I, I would much rather go this fast and do lime just to get it over with. But ah, something, something about going slow. But granted, these fields are massive. They are so big and being able to get a big field done super fast, super good. There we go, workers rocking and rolling and we are gonna rock and roll as well. There, well, we've got two headlands done all the way around, which is more than enough. So we've got that on, turn it on, lower it down. It is grass, which is good. And we are back in it. Oh yeah, rock and roll, baby, rock and roll. I have noticed that I think the top speed for this, at least with this, is 24 miles per hour, even though we've set it to be little bit. Oh man, we missed some. Darn it. I have to go back and hit that. Also, we got some little scragglers hanging out from the first harvest, that first oat, or not oat, barley, the first barley harvest. And yeah, we'll figure that out. May just get a plow, plow that up a little bit. It'll be okay. I'm not too crazy concerned about it. So again, I need to hear from you guys. Uh, you're, of course, we always ask you guys your thoughts, your comments. Let me know what you think about this and that, yada, yada, yada. I need to know what you guys think about this grass harvest. I know, I know, I know you probably won't see you know, corn, something like that, but we're going to do something wild and crazy with the grass harvest. I just don't know what yet. And I need your help. What would you do if you had this huge grass harvest and just so much grass that you didn't know what to do with? What would you do with it? Would you do silage bales? Would you do grass bales? Would you turn it all into hay and do loose hay to sell the loose hay? What would you do? Or, or even take all the grass and turn it into silage. Oh, come on, we're missing more and more and more. Uh, take all the grass, turn it into silage, 
and then sell the silage. We've done that, but we could do it again. So I need you to tell me, what would you want to do? What would you like to see? Because that's what I want to do. Maybe we'll put up a poll. I'll see what I can do by getting a poll up. Uh, maybe by the time you guys are watching this, we we'll say, hey, we're doing a massive grass harvest on Peterville. What should we do with grass? You let me know. I think that'd be a cool way to do it. Oh, mate, come on, up the hill. You can do it, you can do it. Come on! Oh, it is... <laughs> Look at that dark color. Man, that is awesome. We've got to get this on console. I don't think there's a way to do it, to get it on console. Uh, however, this is one of those big, big mods. I imagine with 21 we're going to see something like this. Also, I see a lot of people talking about FS20. Um, let's talk about FS20 for a minute, because there's something that I don't think some of you guys know or... Or, yeah, I guess, no. FS20 is a mobile game, A. B, um, it, yes, it's in the works. It's just not been released yet. They have not announced it officially. However, when people ask about it on uh, Twitter and uh, on the Giants Facebook, stuff like that, they, of course, they've been answering me like, you know, it, it's not done yet. We'll release it when it's done, that kind of thing. So do keep in mind that FS20 is not a... It's not a main game. FS20 is a mobile game. And so if that's what you guys are really, you know, interested about and saying, you know, yeah, no, I, I, I know it's a mobile game. I want to play the mobile game. Then, you know what, we're just going to run a headline at the end of it. I'm not going to worry about doing this now. Uh, just know FS20 is a mobile game. It is not a main game for consoles or PC or Mac. It is mobile. So just keep that in mind. Uh, also, it is many, many generations behind, or at least uh, typically has been, uh, especially with FS, was it uh, 16, of course, an 18. I've got both of those on my phone. I think they've got 12 and 14 around somewhere. I have to go double check those. Uh, but I do have 16 and 18, and 18 was rough. <laughs> it was old. And the maps are completely different as well, so the maps are nothing like the maps that we've got in game right now. Um, the map, it was some like mountainous region, very small map, but then again, it's mobile. So just keep that in mind. I wanted to let you know, just in case some of you guys were curious about it, um, maybe clear up some, some confusion or miscommunication, anything like that. Again, FS20 will be mobile. However, this time in one year from now, we will start to hear things about FS21. Also, Klaus, Klau, Klaus. I'm going to say class. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, I'm an American. We say class over here. It may be different around the world, but in America, we say class. So I'm going to say class. Um, it's coming to Farming Simulator. If you didn't know already, it will be here October. Oh, October. <laughs> you got me messing up class now. Uh, it will be here October 22nd which is extremely cool. Uh, that is going to be with the Platinum DLC. Word is that console players will be getting it for free. Um, so if you have the season pass, you will be getting uh, that for free. At least that was the way it was in 17. And from what I have seen on Twitter and Giants uh, responding to people on Twitter, that seems to be what it's going to be as well. See what, today's just kind of turned into a uh, chat corner with DJ. <laughs> a little bit less of farming, a little bit more of chit chat. Eh, let me know if you guys like this. This is a fun Sunday video. So let's finish this up. I'm going to go ahead and finish these headlands, get this worker hired, and uh, we're going to see what we can do with these cotton bales. So Mr. John Deere right here is done. Unfortunately, we need to, we need to do some stuff. So I need to unload the bales. <laughs> I can't figure out exactly how it is. Are we going to be able to dump all the cotton? Let's see, there's that. Oh, don't, no, don't tell me. No! We were so close. It's just unloading that bell. No, we've got stuff in the front hopper. Come on! So there's no way to forcefully unload that front hopper. At least that I'm seeing. Drop that bell. Come on, we were so close to a whole bell. Oh, jerk. All right, whatever. So we've got 1,500 liters of cotton right here that we're just wasting. Whatever. Let's get that returned. We need to find... 
this guy because we've got to bring the cotton back over here and we've got one belt and two so what this is going to mean is this is going to be we almost had eight yeah eight full bales of cotton off of this field that is 80,000 liters well close to 80,000 liters anyway here we go get that loaded up I believe that is every single bill off of here. They are bright yellow, so I don't see anything. Also, um, one of our buddies over on Facebook sent me a... No, 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 no! Come on, wrong button. Come on! No. Rip! Do the rolling! Pick him up, pick him up, pick him up, pick him up! No, I'm in the load mode, you stupid moron! Oh. Yeah, it looks like we're collecting on the go here, huh? All right. Making our way back around to pick up the bell that DJ so stupidly sent flying. Can we get it? Uh, there we go. Good job, buddy. Good job. Now we can unload them properly instead of idiotically like we had done before. Here we go. Just a little bit and we are done. Force unload right there. Now we will have to find some way to pick these up and move them. However, oh gosh, it's pushing me forward. There's too many bells on the ground. That's awesome. Let's return the trailer. Boom, just like that. We've got our bells. We've got everything set. We are good. And the grass is almost done being planted as well. Well, guys, that's going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not, please subscribe. If you have any questions, drop those down in the comment section below. If you got any ideas, stuff that you want to see here on Peterville Farm before we take off, you gotta let me know. Let me know down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to get to everybody. And again, don't forget, let me know what you want me to do with the grass. Gotta figure it out. But with all that being said, I hope you have a great day and we will see you later. Peace.